Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for March 21st to April 4th. From March 21st to the 25th, we're still indicating a split flow here across the west generally. And you can see we have our northern stream here, southern stream across this area. And we have above normal heights with a ridge here near uh, over the Gulf of Alaska, also a ridge over the Caribbean and the Great Lakes. Above normal heights in the east, the pattern remained the same. Okay, um, during this period, we will have, oh, I want to show you the map, but we will have energy dropping from the Gulf of Alaska, and this will come in to the west and cause precipitation to increase uh, Monday through Wednesday. Here's the system right here comes into the west brings snow low elevation rain and then we'll have a frontal system lingering across uh, parts of near the Gulf Coast and that would um, cause rain uh, Saturday through Monday across portions of the south you can see heavy rain and then attention turns to here. We will have a system developing. I can never move this the right way. This is really bad. Okay. Um, we will have a system developing off the Gulf, off the southeast coast, late Sunday night into early Monday. You can see it right here. Now, this is a GFS. The system develops and then moves northeast. And this will spread rain and snow across portions of the Middle Atlantic and the Northeast. So this is a GFS. Here's a European. Notice where the 540 line is right down here across the Delmarva. And then we go into Monday and we have some snow moving in and then it lifts out. And uh, an another system will spread of uh, rain and snow from the central Appalachians to the northeast. Then we'll have another system coming into the west causing more precipitation. Look at it for the March 26th to the 30th. Uh, the flow doesn't change very much. We still have a very strong ridge here. And this will cause um, a trough here in the west, ridge here in the east. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting. I'm kind of using the maps over and over again, but it hasn't changed. Below normal temperatures here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 4 to 6 degrees. Below normal, above normal temperatures of forecast here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 6 degrees above normal for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here and for the southeast and I'm forecasting probability of occurrence is 35 percent above normal precipitation is forecast for much of this area here probability of occurrence is 40 percent looking at the period from march 31st to april 4th and the flow becomes more zonal during this period now we look at the european and the European has a trough here in the east, but the other models have the trough in the west, ridge in the east, as the NFESS does. So, um, as a compromise here, I'm forecasting below normal, t uh, above normal temperatures for this area here, and I'm forecasting anomalies of four to six degrees above normal, near normal elsewhere, and for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here and here. And the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for March 21st to April 4th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mullins World of Weather and have a good day.